afternoon and welcome to the Midday News here on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network. I'm Bavita Gopolchan. Thank you so much for joining us. Top of the news at this time, a mayoral father is pleading for assistance in locating his 22-year-old son who has been missing for more than a week. Stefan Bihari of Bigara Trace Mayaro left home with his friend and two other men in a dark grey Toyota Aqua on Sunday. He told his father, Mukesh Bihari, he was going to check on a job, but he's not returned. Now, calls to Stefan's phone as well as his friends have gone unanswered and they have not been seen anywhere in their community. Through the week, since Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I keep calling the phone right through and no answer. But going straight to voicemail. And the WhatsApp saying last scene is Monday evening, five something. Bihari adds that his son has never left home for such a long time without contacting him. He's appealing to anyone who may have information on the young man's whereabouts to contact the police. And a man is found dead in Tobago on Sunday. Rabindranath Bridge Mohan was reported missing on Saturday. I was later found in Kanu Bay in his vehicle with a gunshot wound to the head. 30-year-old Bridge Mohan was a Tobago House of Assembly employee who lived at Canobie. Investigations are ongoing. Well, former Commissioner of Police Gary Griffith says the shakeup at the Strategic Services Agency is nothing to be concerned about. This comes on the heels of an announcement made by Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley on Saturday that the SSA head Major Roger Best has been replaced. Now, during an interview on the Morning Brew today, Griffith said the government has the right to select any director of the SSC that it sees fit. However, he says the issue is with how it was done. The concern lies in that how this was done. So it's not by them. It is their right to, to change whoever they want. But how it was done. If you, the three locations in the SSC have now been controlled or under lockdown by the Trenton Bigo Police Service, that is madness. The SSC is an independent body covered under the Constitution through an act of parliament. Ambassador Brigadier General Anthony Philip Spencer will now act as head of the SSC. In the energy industry, women are viewed as an untapped resource, yet very few women are employed in the industry. And the industry tends to lose the few women it does hire. So says Minister of Planning and Development, Penelope Beckles. The CSO in 2017 indicated that women accounted for around 20% of the workforce in the energy sector. Other sectors of our society also reveal comparatively similar results. Women hold on to 30% of the parliamentary seats, 27% uh, of executive level positions in the private sector. Speaking at an International Women's Day event at the Hilton Hotel on Sunday, Beckles also congratulated the woman who contributed to the publication of the book, A Different Energy, Carbon Woman in Oil and Gas. She said this has brought to life the unsung woman pioneers in the oil and gas industry. On a broader level, the minister also spoke about how women can be included in other areas. In this increasingly digitized world, the need to innovate will spiral demands for new skill sets and a larger pool of talent will be required for companies to achieve growth and performance benchmarks. Attracting a more diverse and inclusive workplace is where women will bridge the employment gap. Now, the minister advised that to create a diverse and inclusive workplace culture is a continuous process that requires leadership, collaboration and action. Now to this, following the pharmacy board's elections, former President Andrew Rahman is alleging that there were over 30 irregularities. Rahman, who obtained the most votes, was elected along with three other members of his slate and three independents. But speaking at a media conference on Saturday, Rahman alleged that there was an attempt to suppress votes. He says ballots were supposed to be sent 14 days before the elections, but were instead delivered 12 days before. He further says out of 1,300 pharmacists, well over 1,000 pharmacists did not receive their ballots. There are, my figure might be well over 100 pharmacists that received ballots that are not their own at their address. So that is one of the significant things that happened in the election. 
So as told CNC3 News, the documents, including the mailing list, were not handed over when Rahman demitted office. Rahman did not respond to that matter when asked. CNC3 News reached out to Health Minister Terence Dial Singh, who said the elections were none of his business. He explained that he has no jurisdiction and therefore cannot get involved in the elections of any independent body unless directed by the Attorney General. It's now time for a short break. We'll be right back with Sport News. Don't go anywhere. Ncash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Ncash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Ncash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Yes, I accept Ncash. I accept Ncash. I accept Ncash. Find businesses that accept Ncash with the nearby business feature. Visit Ncash.com to learn more. Download the app and create your wallet today. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Ferrera Optical is inside Massey Stores, Gulfview and Marabella. Explore our bold and trendy collections of eyewear. Experience the latest lens technology. Earn and redeem points with your Massey card at Ferrera Optical inside Massey Stores, Gulfview and Marabella. Welcome to ABC Doors and Windows, TNT's number one destination for the best quality and widest variety of doors and windows. Enhance your space with our premium wooden, steel panels, fiberglass and steel security doors. Complemented by our aluminium, UPVC and steel windows. Shop for the best quality and service at ABC Doors and Windows. Visit our impressive showroom at 1 Chanka Trace, El Socorro South or call 638-7184 to get started. Trust ABC for a better choice. If you could see what the future holds, you'd see that while things change, you've still got it. You are strong, resilient, inspiring, and you won't be defined by time. You'll own every minute of it because you were made for more. Discover how Alive Multivitamins by Nature's Way help you age vibrantly. Back in sport, the Trinidad and Tobago Soccer Warriors ended their two-game match up the Jamaica Reggae Boys with a draw yesterday at the Larry Gomes Stadium in Malabar. After the Soccer Warriors were beaten 1-0 in the first match again against the Reggae Boys on Friday, they were expecting a better result in the second match with a 10-man change. Defender Robert Primus was the only player who retained his spot, but the match ended goalless. Here's what Soccer Warriors coach Angus Eve had to say at the end of the match. Most definitely. I think um, we were able to bred a lot of players who have never played for both countries before and um, giving them this opportunity to see how they could stand up under this kind of scrutiny in a derby game like this was great for them. And in some cricket news now, the Women's Caribbean Premier League has set a new record on their digital viewership numbers from last year's tournament, which took place in both Barbados and Trinidad. The WCPL had a 45% rise in viewership, which spread across the world, reaching 36.2 million people. The seven-match tournament concluded at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy, with the Barbados Royals claiming that title. Unfortunately, that's it for sport. It's back to a break. See the world in style this carnival. Get two complete pairs of single vision glasses for $5.95. Get a free pair of polarized sunglasses with the purchase of progressive transitions with designer frames for $16.99. Or complete bifocals with transitions for $13.99. See View Optical, affordable eye care for everyone. The fact that they ask the questions, those challenging questions that no other media house would ask. So, you know, shed light on those things that are in the dark, those stories that no one else wants to cover. Um, I grew up reading The Guardian, actually. It's a household name. About The Guardian, one thing that I like, the human interest stories have increased. The city investigated pieces on the human trafficking. I find that very interesting. Sam, you go more in depth. On sports, especially local sports, and that's one of my highlights for The Guardian. Yeah, I've been in Guardian. 
Arts in the Garden started Charlie coming out, Charlie Morgan. I was a newspaper man. <laughs> Could the stories that are being covered are uh, well detailed and we get more facts. Also, I think the editorials, I think they're doing a good job and they're speaking in truth and you know they, they're challenging the government to, to make things better. Me in particular, of recently, the last two, three months, I've been reading the garden. I'm seeing a lot of news about the neighborhoods and the community. And I even saw my community featured and I was proud. But the Guardian. 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 The Guardian is my first choice. India welcomes 130 nations to the 71st Miss World Final. A festival of glamour, fashion, talent, sports, and beauty with a purpose. Take this incredible journey to India and find out who will win the ultimate crown. The 71st Miss World Final. March 9th, 2024, only on CNC3. Ask the Doctor's new season is here as Dr. Joel Tiluxing covers a range of topics and most importantly answers all your medical questions. Join us on Ask the Doctor live on CNC3 on Thursdays at a new time of 8.30 p.m. with a rerun on Fridays at 11 a.m. Get the story first. Want to know what's happening in news, sports, or crime? Get the CNC3 app. As the story breaks, CNC3 is there giving you the story first on your mobile device. Be connected to the most trusted and reliable news source, CNC3. Access your world with just a tap. The CNC3 app. Download it today. Asian authorities have ordered a 72-hour state of emergency which began on Sunday night. This after an explosion of violence during the weekend where gunmen from gangs overran the country's two biggest prisons and freed inmates. Reports say almost all of the estimated 4,000 inmates escaped, leaving the normally overcrowded prison eerily empty with no guards in sight. Three bodies with gunshot wounds lay at the prison entrance. Among the few dozen that chose to stay in the prison are 18 former Colombian soldiers accused of working as mercenaries in the July 2021 assassination of Haitian President Jovenel Moise. Prime Minister Errol Henry traveled abroad last week to try to salvage support for bringing in a UN-backed security force to help stabilize the country. People in Minnesota are dealing with the aftermath of a devastating wildfire that burned 1,000 acres and injured one person. Here's more for you in this report. Heather Brick watched the fire quickly move toward her house in Wasika Sunday, helpless to stop it. The firefighters were, it was just coming closer and closer, and we thought we were going to lose our home. It was scary, scary. It was. It was terrifying. She and her family evacuated with their dogs and photos, just like at least half a dozen of their neighbors did too. Heather got lucky when the wind changed, allowing fire crews to cut off the flames. She says not all her neighbors can say the same. I heard that two neighbors over on the same trail lost their homes, but we're not, I'm not sure who that is yet. Fire officials say about a thousand acres of mostly grassland have burned, pushing thick, dark smoke into the air that could be seen for miles. One person was hurt. Red flag warnings are just critical fire conditions. And when a when an unintended fire develops in those grasses, it's driven by the winds. And so that's why it's not surprising to see uh, how rapidly this fire spread to the size that it did. The closeness and care of the community here was on display as Ashley Lloyd prepared for a possible evacuation of her own. Strangers pulling in and asking, what can I do to help? Um, what can I take away from here to help out? Just very, very awesome.
now time for a look at your Monday afternoon weather forecast. TNT can expect generally hot and sunny conditions with a chance of isolated showers. Seas are moderate with waves reaching 1.5 meters to 2 meters in open waters and below 1 meter in sheltered areas. The maximum forecast temperature is 33 degrees Celsius in Trinidad and 31 degrees in Tobago. Well, thank you so much for joining us for a look at the day's development so far. We'll have these stories and so much more coming up for you in a major newscast at 7 p.m. today. In the meantime, have a great day. Time check. Courtesy Alive by Nature's Way. Distributed by H&J Enterprises Limited.